Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, then welcome. Today we're going to be playing Seraphine with her new Fairy Court skin, but this time actually on live servers in ranked. Um, they just came out literally like an hour ago, and I want to play Seraphine now. So yeah, hopefully you guys learn a thing or two. I'm currently masters around 200 LP, and I'm sure you guys notice I have this massive pimple on my face right now that is not going away. So please let me know in the comments if you have any tips on how to get this thing away as quick as possible because it is disturbing. But regardless, I hope you guys are having like a great time in life. And if you want to join my Discord server, um, I've been playing some like Among Us games on there with viewers, and it's like the most fun I ever have or have ever had in like a really long time. So make sure you join my Discord down in the description and watch me live starting almost every day at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Really, the best feeling for me is getting to meet you guys and getting to like connect peoples. And a lot of people have made friends through my channel. So um, if you'd like to do that, please do. But yeah, we're playing into an Aurelian Soul and a Jarvan. Um, I talked a lot about the skin when I made my video on the Seraphine skin, so I probably won't comment too much on it. Although, okay, they said they fixed the Ash sounding auto attacks, but I'm still hearing Ash auto attacks. Um, and they, they changed a few things, I think, with this skin from my last video, but I think overall it's still the same. But yeah, me and Aurelian Soul are both scaling mid laners. We're both pretty much just going to play for um, later on in the game. But I think that's a good thing for this mid lane matchup because Seraphine wants to scale. Like, the more passive the lane, the better. And Aurelian Soul definitely is not strong until he gets some items. I'm also going to be trying a different bit of like a new build this game. I'm going to be going the new and buffed Cosmic Drive along with uh, Leandris as my mythic. I think Cosmic Drive has always been an item that Seraphine like likes and I haven't actually tried it since they increased the AP of it like a ton. Um, so that's what I'm going to be going for my build this game. And as for my runes, pretty standard Seraphine runes. I'm going uh, Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendent, Scorch, Bone Plating, and Revitalize. People sometimes wonder why you go um, Resolve second, but I think Resolve second is just the best for Seraphine. The Bone Plating helps you live ganks and helps you live engages, and the Revitalize gets a ton of value once you start grouping. So I think that's the best thing you could do on Seraphine mid at the moment. So since they have a Jarvan jungle and I have a Hecarim jungle, um, it's kind of good that we're playing more even. Jarvan definitely likes to gank mid lane early on. Whenever the enemy team has a Jarvan, you want to kind of uh, keep that in mind because most of the time they gank mid or like top lane in this case pretty early. And Hecarim is a jungler who likes to get some levels before he's actually useful. So early game, we're just going to play passive. And speaking of passive, I think they actually made the Sage of the Seraphine skin actually uh, brighter when her passive is up. So, hooray. I remember that was one of the things I commented on, that like the fully charged passive Sage didn't look that good. Alright, so I believe that Jarvan started red side and did his full entire red side clear and then ganked top lane. So, if my calculations are correct, I believe he recalled it and he's probably going to clear his bot side now. So I'm going to hug my top side because I think Jarvan is somewhere around here. And I'm actually going to ping my bot lane too, which, by the way, yes, I have an Anivia bot lane. No, I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. <laughs> you can't, not all the time are you going to get an actual ADC in the bot lane. So that's fine. Hecarim's going to recall and get some items, which really is fine. Not like we can really kill Aurelian Soul at this point anyways. Wow, I really do like the spell effects for this skin. Like, it does actually feel really nice. Those, like, glittery kind of effects on every spell look really cool. Oh no, my cannon. Okay. Really fine just farming like this for now. And I have pretty decent vision on both my bot side and my top side. So I'm not too afraid because I have a good heads up if I could see Jarvan on my minimap. Okay, um, it's not a cannon wave. You typically want a recall in cannon minion waves, so I'm not going to go for a recall here. Oh, something's happening bot lane. Oh, Blitzcrank landed the hook. Oh no. Okay, I don't think I can help there. At least they killed Melio, I guess. Alright, so early game, Seraphine's E does literally no damage, so it's actually better. Instead of right there, Eing and then double Qing the wave, 
I shoot a Q, wait for my Q to come back off cooldown, and then do the double casted Q. Because more Qs equals more damage. And that damage really matters in the early game. So let's go ahead and recall. I am going to get a tier. Us yassifying the, the beetle. I always find that so funny. Uh, we are going to get a tier, although I don't plan to upgrade it too early this game. So let's go ahead and get that. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and finish the Seraph's Embrace as my third item, because I want to go Leandri's Cosmic Drive as my core. Alright, and oh my god, what is that? How did my Graves get executed? Uh, how did my Graves top lane get executed? What is my team comp? Me and Hecarim are going to have to put in some work this game. That's all I'm saying. Alright, unfortunately, I'm not the best champion at punishing Aesol early game. But Aesol's like one of those champions that he's kind of like casted in, where it's just like inevitable. He is going to get stacks, he is going to do something, and you can just like delay it. I think he's actually pretty OP. I don't know if it's just me, but my biggest problem in League over like the past season has just been how tanky everyone is and how much damage they do. It really feels like my favorite class of champions, which are like burst mages, um, are really weak right now. And not like me being just like baby rage crying that they're weak. A little bit, but I just feel like it's not fair how so many champions can build full tank items and one shot me when I'm building full squishy items and do no damage to them. But that's just my rant right now. And I mean, Seraphine luckily is pretty good at abusing the tank items like Rod of Ages and um, Seraph's Embrace. And she could also itemize against tanks, which is what I'm going to be doing this game with the Leandri's build. But definitely more traditional burst mages like Zoe, um, Ari, LeBlanc. I think that they are in a weird spot right now. They're not horrible, but it just feels bad to play them. Yeah, this is mostly... I mean, on Seraphine, you're probably not going to be getting a ton of kills in lane. We're very even in CS, actually. Like, I'm one CS up on him. I guess Seraphine is just better. But eventually, once I start getting items, I will be doing a lot of damage. See how many stacks he has right now? Only 30, that's not too bad. Stacking my mana flow band very slowly, but surely. Uh, I might look for a roam here. That was a really good wall. Yeah, I'm gonna look for a roam here. It's kind of weird. Whenever you roam on Seraphine, it just like doesn't feel right. Okay. Alright. I don't even know if that's worth it. I'm going to help them ship out the wave here then. Not like Anivia really needs my help for that, but... Okay. We're going to be maxing our W second too. That probably wasn't the best of roams for me. Oh, I'm not recalling. Oh no. Probably not the best of roams because I missed a wave mid lane, but my bot lane does get a bit of a lead. Alright, so let's go this, and this, and this. And back to back to the bot lane we walk. And thankfully this is a cannon wave, so I shouldn't miss the cannon minion. I hope I might be able to CS it. Thankfully I'm Seraphine and have long range. Right? Right, Seraphine? There's no way you let me down here, right? <laughs> oh, okay. The highlight of this video right there. God, this is like putting putting my uh my skills to the test. Just gonna go and stack my mana flow on him. He does not care about my poke. Like at all. And even considering that I'm only down five CS, which makes sense considering I lost only one wave worth of minions. An enemy has been slain. Pretty even game so far, I would say. Aurelian Soul is going with the Roa build, which is very normal. <laughs> Guys, he doesn't care. I'm throwing all these random flower things on him, and he's just. He's just breathing his fire. Okay, thankfully, my bot lane is doing pretty fine. And I think Anivia or Aurelian Soul recall. Oh, no, he went bot lane. Okay. Okay, well, that makes things a little bit harder. 
Um, alright, well they both went bot lane. I have Hecarim here. Oh, so close to me landing that. Okay, give me the turret plate. Perfect. And at this point, my wave clear is just much better than Aurelian Souls. I can kind of keep him under the turret the whole game. The problem with that is if I get ganked by Jarvan. Which, let's hope that doesn't happen. Or if it does happen, I can avoid it with my good vision. And how much more gold do I need for my Leandries? I need probably about like two more waves worth of gold for the Leandries. Which is a very big power spike for me. I don't know what's going on bot lane. Like every time I'm looking, Blitzcrank's like landing a hook. They're walling them under the turret. It's kind of crazy. Mana flow sack. All right, now he almost has 100 sacks. Oh no. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't think we needed the flash there. I think we could have baited. Okay, something's going to happen here. Okay, I'm doing this. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No. Why is this E so skinny? This E needs to, needs to plump enough. Alright, well that sucks. I did get Melio's flash at least. It's not the worst thing in the world. You know, maybe I could even kill this, uh... Kill this Rift Herald before it gets under the turret. Yeah, I think I can. Rift Herald, please. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't really help my team there. Aurelian Soul wasn't even there. I don't know what they want. Sometimes your team be wiling out. Okay, I'm gonna recall, finish my Leandries, and TP back. All right, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good game. I feel like this is gonna be a long one, which isn't a bad thing because the longer this game gets, debatably the better it gets for us. We do have, uh, very debatably, I don't know about Graves top lane. This feels like just horrible. I I'm I'm over Graves as a champion. I think he's really, like, overrated. Alright, so we have early entries. For my boots, I'm probably going to go ahead and go for CDR boots. Um, just because they're cheaper, and I could really take advantage of it. <laughs> my Ash auto attacks. I will never get over how much these auto attacks sound like literally Ash. Okay, and the Leandries is going to be good into him, since he only has HP. I should get a lot of value. Same with Jarvan. Jarvan, Gragas, and Aurelian Soul are all sacking health, and Melio even a little bit too. So the Leandries is really good this game. Alright, bot lane. Bot lane's doing it again. Oh my god, I landed me. My baby's first E landed this game. I'm gonna ping that Aurelian Soul's missing because last time they died to it. Okay, and a good tip to you guys, you see this ward that I put right here? You line it up with this wall and kind of like this little lantern thing, and it kind of gives you good vision to know whenever the enemy mid laner is roaming. Yeah, Jarvan's going there. I don't think they could kill me though. They can't kill me actually. Oh, so close. So close, so close. Okay, they, they might be trying though. Both Melio and Jarvan are missing, so we have to be extra careful. <laughs> Guys, what, what in a, a, a you know, nail-biting Seraphine game? Okay, I can't help there. Goodbye, Anivir. Me and Aurelian Soul both have having participated in a single kill. Yeah, I can go over here and help, though. 
He might look to ult me. Just come here, just come here. I can shield you. Okay, we go for Aesol here. Oh, he's dead to my Lantries? Okay, cool. Oh, that hook. <gasps> Guys, why is my Blitzcrank so good at League of Legends? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's just accepting his death at that point. Wow. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess my Blitzkink is just the best player that exists in this world. Mm, this is a little greedy. But I don't want to go my tier 2 boots yet. I have so much gold right there. I want to finish my Cosmic Drive as soon as possible. Because look, guys. Now Cosmic Drive gives you... A, um, in total, when you have the passive up, it gives you 130 AP and 15% movement speed. And just all of the stats that this thing gives you, Seraphine loves. She loves the ability haste. She loves the movement speed. She loves the AP. And it's just such a good item for her. Especially with the Leandries build. Because if you think about it, Leandries, uh, since it puts the burn on them, it marks you as in combat for a longer time. Meaning that you get more uh, duration out of the cosmic drive whenever you pop it. That's why I think both those two items synergize so well together. And actually, even though Aurelian Soul scales super well, I think that my W counters him pretty hard. Like in team fights, my W can kind of negate the damage from his ult. As long as we don't get like insta bursted and I don't like get picked off and die. So how much more money do I need for Cosmic Drive? Like 400 more gold? So I probably need like three or four more waves worth of gold. It's a good way to kind of... I'm trying myself to kind of get more used to framing things in that way too. Like how many more waves I need in order to get the items I want. But, okay, well, it looks like my team's going to start A-ramming or something, which is honestly fine. That's like what's it, that's Seraphine's win condition is A-ramming. So, something is going to happen here. Okay. Unfortunately, though, I'm not getting any more minions. All right, we have this too, which isn't bad. Here, I'll... I'll bail you out, sir. Okay, stuff is happening. Actually, Melio is going to counter me, though. I ult everyone, and then Melio ults. Good try. I think he's kind of trolling. Like, I don't know. He's scaring me the Jarvan a little bit, but also he's just kind of taking some free poke. Oh, if only we had Blitz. Uh oh. Tell me why, guys, Melio W looks like his ult. Oh, look, I got him. Does he die here, though? Maybe. Oh, he does. I have Flash. Okay, this is looking good. Here. I still feel like the W on this skin is so silent. But not gonna lie, like, I am actually enjoying the skin. I'm enjoying the skin more than I did originally. Like, I think the, the little minute changes they did to it added a lot. Alright. I have blue buff. I'm not, like, super scared right now, I guess. I have blue buff and flash. Alright, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. I could finish my... Ooh, am I able to finish both of them, actually? No, I'm going to need a, a little bit more gold for that, I think, if my calculations are correct. Yeah. So close to finishing both my my tier 2 boots and my Cosmic Drive. All right, I am, like, online this game now. I have, like, my two-item power spike. I'm very fed. So, I have Teleport up. I really don't... As much as I want to group up with my team and do Seraphine things, I don't want to share EXP, so I'm going to go bot lane for now. And I'm going to clear this bot wave, and if something does happen, I can teleport over to the fight. My biggest fear, though, is me getting, like, ganked by, like, three people in the side lane, and then giving my shutdown and, like, dying and losing tempo. So I have to be careful of that. Alright, I'm going to try to... Let's see, I, I'm pinging this so Hecarim knows that he can come and help me in case something happens. Like, I need protection. Alright, I'm going to just recall and finish my tier 2 boots, son. 
And I have TP, so let me ping to my team that I have that. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. There's no way they do Baron here. Like, we would actually kill them. Like, every single one of them if they tried to do Baron. Aurelian Soul's gonna get his free level in, like, two minutes or something. Kind of annoying. I swear, Rod of Ages was a mistake. I don't think Riot should have brought that item back. Oh, I actually think I got a pretty thick ult off right there. Uh, I think he has his E up. I don't know, this is kind of... I feel like this is a waste of my time. Okay, never mind. He dead. He dead, he dead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my ult hit like three or four of them. So that's good. Melio's building a lot of magic resistance, which I mean makes sense. Look at our the two carries this game. I hope he doesn't have ult. Kind of scared of a Jinx ult too, not going to lie. Let's stack up a W. What is this? Here, let's try to aim an ult here. Oh. <laughs> Keyword. Try. Okay, and on to Baron we go. Uh, I am kind of running out of mana. Like, I don't know about this one, team. Like, we're gonna need some picks if we want to do this. I feel like... Oh, wait. Okay. The pick in question. Whoa. Thank God for my W ability. That was a lot, though. Okay. Let, let, let me just get out of here. So now I'm gonna finish the tier and uh, get an Archangels. And currently I have 194 AP, 95 ability haste, and it's not really a lot of AP, but I'm getting an extra 40 when I'm in combat and with all the other goodies, like I've already done almost 2k with my uh, Leandries, I think it's fine. Yeah, sadly Aurelian Soul is level 15 now because he has Rod of Ages, but Arnivia has Rod of Ages too. So it balances out, right? That's how it works. Does he kill? Almost. Alright, Hecarim can clear mid wave and we can kind of just siege top lane all together. This Blitzcrank though is really good. Like, normally I feel like I don't like having Blitzcrank on my team because they just do nothing, but this one's landing like really good hooks. I'd be like angry if I was on the enemy team. Okay, they're like doing something mid lane. They're sieging mid. Does Anivia have TP? She does. Am I running into like four people? Probably. That was a pretty, that was pretty scary. I feel like I could have died right there. Oh, they see me somehow, question mark. Dear Lib. Oh, I saved him. Dang, my ability so overpowered. I swear Seraphine's W is the best ability in this game. Uh, Jarvan might be in that bush below. What the heck? How did he even die? How did what did Gragas take that much damage? I'm so confused right now. Oh, someone's in that bush. He might be trying to kill me here. This is actually a really good area for me to fight in, though. Oh, can we hook? Okay, but we can get a slash. That's good enough. Yeah. 
and I'll just help get this then. This is our third dragon, so it's pretty important we get it. They might try to do Baron, though. Okay, no. They're not that crazy. Alright, let's go and see. Let's go do our thing. Our Seraphine thing. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can get a good ult here. Get me out of that fight. Uh, Jinx doesn't have flash. Ow. Ow. Ow! Okay, bye, Aesol. I don't know if I want to mess with Gragas. I don't know. I think I'm just going to recall. I'm going to be Baby Fiend. Actually, no I'm not. I'm going to be Killer Fiend. Killer Queen. Killer Fiend of this blue buff. Is he in here? Oh, he was. Oh my god. He actually was in there. Is he still in here? Please, Gragas. Gragas, stop, ha like, haunting me. Okay, let's go. This Gragas is really... He, like, I swear, we're gonna, like, lose Baron because we're all going for Gragas. This is such a mistake. Oh, I'm TPing here. Hold on. Jinx is in a weird position. Okay. There goes your Gale Force. I'm coming, team. I'm coming in a beer. Can I kill this guy, though, by myself? No, not with that item. Imagine having a Hex Drinker. Wow. I, I really thought I could do that. And then I was reminded of the reality that all I am is a W bot. I am a shield and healed bot. But that's okay, because guess what? You win the game, so. At the end of the day, that's what matters. Okay, I don't have ults for another 30 seconds. The cooldown is actually surprisingly very low. Can we kill him? He doesn't have his Hex Shrinker up, I got that. Alright, cool. And I think we actually are just able to win the game now. Like, they can't really do anything. This makes me happy, because I got wrecked by like two Aurelian Souls earlier today on my stream. So this makes me happy to play Seraphine into him and watch as he like, just can't really do anything. He could only do stuff if like, I'm not there. How many stacks does he have? Okay, almost 350. Okay, now he has 360. Uh, I don't know, Aesol, if you win that. Let's see how much damage my Leandris has done too, like 3k. Oh, oh my god, Anivia. Anivia! Anivia killed me! Oh, that's actually really bad. Hold on. Wait, now we lose... Wait, we lose Varen off that. I mean, we're probably still fine. Anivia. She really went from getting my honor to being a, my my killer. Oh my god, we stole it. Alright. I guess we just win the game. That's so good for us. What is this game? Why do I have a Graves top lane? Why is Anivia walling me off? Why do I even have an Anivia on my team too? This is... This is madness. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop and we need this game to just end.
Um, Dragon is spawning in a few seconds. We don't have our jungler though. So even though he stole it, I think we're not going to get soul here unless we steal this too, which would be hilarious. Which I will try. All right, Aurelian soul is kind of scaling now. Now he might be able to do stuff, but still probably not if I'm there. If I'm there, he probably can't, but if Blitzcrank steals this with a hook, that'd be funny. Ooh, something's happening here. Okay, my ult hit two people. Oh no, wait guys, we're kind of losing. I do not want to get ulted by that guy. I'm going to get ulted by that guy. Oh, I'm not getting ulted by that guy. Okay, they have to deal with the minions in their base, but... Oh, my mic just fell. I'm not liking this anymore. This game went from, like, pretty chill to, like, panic mode very quickly. Like, now... I don't know. The tanks have tanked. Okay, we group with the Nivea. We pray that we get a decent fight. And we win. Aurelian Soul might be able to press W on me, and I might die. We're pretty even in CS, though, me and Asol. And we have the same kill participation, too. It's just I am Support Seraphine, and he is carry Aurelian Soul. So thankfully, they don't have, like, a Serpent's Fang. I think if, uh, if Jarvan was smarter, he probably would have like, built a Serpent's Fang to counter me, because my shield is, like, I think what's winning half these fights. But I'm happy that he didn't. Alright, Anivia has stuff up. Yeah, I'm going to be going Rylize now as, as my fifth item, and then for my sixth item, I will go for a Void Staff. Okay, I think they're just waiting for, like, their inhibitors. Never heard of it. <laughs> and I do not want to- I want to be far back. Okay. Okay, if we get a pick, we win. All we need is like one pick and this game's over. But all they need is like two good team fights and they win. Very close game. Aurelian Soul thankfully doesn't have his big ult right now. I'm happy. Okay, they use Gragas ult. Okay, we have to go for these inhibs, I think. Thankfully, Seraphine is pretty good at sieging. Okay, well, there's our pick. Gragith making this game anticlimactic. Uh, get me out of this this circle. This circle of doom. Oh, bye, you jinx. Oh, I rooted him. Okay, he's still dead. Don't worry, team. Don't worry, team. I'll heal you by 50% of your health. Hello, Emilio. Hello, Emilio. What will you do here? Okay, and we win. Um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of just like a farming game, but like, you know, I feel like this is a pretty realistic Seraphine game in high elo, and we're playing the new skin, which I know a lot of you guys like and are maybe considering buying uh, or not. So I hope you guys enjoy it and didn't find it like too boring or anything. And yeah, let's see how much damage I shielded. Yeah, I shielded more than the support Melio, and I healed a ton in that game too. So yeah, if you did like this video, or like Seraphine, or want this pimple to go away as much as I do, this one. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, and uh, if you'd like to subscribe, that's great too, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!